All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is going to be really good. The red corner, Mikey Gonzalez, has had a couple of spectacular knockouts here at our Dragon House shows, and I'm excited to see this next fight. In the blue corner, at 170 pounds, Justin Baseman. Ladies and gentlemen, now making his way to the cage. A little bit of deja vu going on. Justin Baseman actually took on his current opponent, Mikey Gonzalez, a few months ago. Dragon House 29 in July of 2018. This is an insane rematch. Both of these guys are dangerous, dangerous fighters. I am really looking forward to this fight, especially after the performance they put on in the last fight in July. Here we go, Justin Baseman, the veteran in the May cage fighter, making his way into the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wild Wild West, featuring his opponent, Justin Mikey Gonzalez. And now making his way to the Dragon House MMA cage for the, you know what, who knows how many times. Mikey Gonzalez, he's done some incredible and flat out weird stuff to win his fight these last few fights. Mikey Gonzalez is a knockout artist and a jiu-jitsu specialist, and you know what? I am beyond happy to see him wearing Dragon House MMA gloves here. And once again, for the once official again, introductions, the here is John Ray. pound fight. In the blue corner, in his 40th professional fight, he's 36 years old, fights for Fight Corps out of Martinez, California. He is Justin the Raw Deal Beastman. His opponent in the red corner, fighting for Tactica BJJ out of San Jose and Santa Clara. A professional record of five wins and one loss. He is Mikey. Gonzalez! Your referee for this fight is Ed Colantes. Once again, our referee for this professional bout is Ed Colantes, the veteran referee. Mikey Gonzalez and Justin Baseman. A rematch of the century, and here we go. This is like Diaz and Conor again. This has to be more, one of the most anticipated fights of the evening tonight. This oh, 100%, Tusi. Now keep in mind, Mikey Rolls won his last two fights with a beautiful hook kick knockout. His last fight was a knockout over Justin Baseman. Justin Baseman wanted this rematch. Mikey Rolls said, let's do it. Yeah, that's, I'm definitely interested to see if Justin Baseman did his homework this time. And, uh, now, imagine if Mikey Rolls gets another hook kick knockout. That would be one for the books, Tusi. But Mikey Rolls has also won fights with... Uh, with submissions. He's also won with a spinning knockout, a spinning heel kick. He's won two fights in a row with a hook kick. He's won by submission. I don't know if he's ever lost an amateur fight. Oh. Mikey Rolls, one of the most dangerous welterweights in all of MMA. There's another hook kick. I'm extremely excited to see what both of these guys can do. Justin Baseman has felt out Mikey Rolls before. He knows what to expect. Mikey Rolls as dangerous as ever. He's been training as hard as ever. He's been coaching, and as they say, coaching helps you learn more. Justin Baseman has done his homework on Mikey Rolls, so this is one of the fights I've been looking forward to the most. And there's nothing left to do, but just watch what happens. Absolutely, well said, Brady. Mikey Rolls eats another uh, leg kick there. Let's go, set it off, set it off! So far, a fill-out process here in the beginning of the first round. And of course, this. A high-level mixed martial arts fight is brought to you by NorCal Fight Shop right here in the city of San Francisco for the very best in fitness and MMA, NorCalFightShop.com. Also by BrightPathVideo.com, the lovely folks who made this stream possible. Once again, that's BrightPathVideo.com, owned by John Perulis. Also brought to you by Fruit Juice. Let's go, let's go! And of course, Bomb First for the very best apparel for, you know what, pretty much anybody. That's bomb first, no words, bomb first. Both fighters very patient in the first round. Overhand right just missing by Baseman. Oh, spinning back kick, the Mikey Rolls special. Oh, oh Justin Baseman with own. a spinning back kick of his own. 
And this Mike is a great time to say that this fight is brought to you by ExecuShield, the very best security company in all of California. For all your security needs, visit ExecuShield.com. And if you uh, if you forget that name, just look to the side of this uh, octagon here. That's oh, nice overhand right landed by oh, Gonzalez. Oh, another hook kick by Gonzalez. Mikey rolls Gonzalez. Dangerous. Nice kick to the body by Gonzalez. This may be the first time that Gonzalez goes out of the first round. Nice one-two by Gonzalez. Can he get another one-two? Another one-two. Gonzalez looking to tee off here. Mikey Gonzalez looking very comfortable and in shape. Uh, Justin Baseman looks a little bit tired here, but I love, love, love the mutual respect between Baseman and Gonzalez. Oh, absolutely. The first round. Okay. And it would be very interesting to see if that round would actually went five minute round, uh, five minute round. But due to the to the the fire uh, in that Paradise City, yeah, these professional fights are now three minute rounds. So, yeah, for those of you who are unaware, uh, I know we have a lot of viewers watching internationally, as in outside of America, also outside of California. We have uh, some fires just across the Golden Gate Bridge. There's fires in Chico, California, and Paradise, California. And the air quality here in the Bay Area, particularly in San Francisco, is really, really bad. Worse than it's ever been in the last few years. So the air quality is so bad that the professional fights here tonight consist of three-minute rounds instead of five-minute rounds. Well, with that being said, Ed Colantes is about ready to get this fight going once again. And round number two is officially underway. Mikey Gonzalez and Justin Baseman in a rematch of the century, and here we go. Leg kick just misses by Baseman, but that was a hard leg kick, and he's looking for a head kick now. But trying to head kick Mikey Rules Gonzalez, that's a gamble. Oh! Oh! Nice strikes by Gonzalez, and Baseman looks like he wants to throw some kicks, hesitates just a bit. Looks like Gonzalez is doing most of the stalking this round here. Now, Gonzalez, one of the most devastating Taekwondo fighters in the Bay Area, maybe in all of MMA. I'm wondering why he hasn't thrown more kicks in this fight, Juicy. Oh, nice head kick just misses. Yeah, that was beautiful. Oh, the Mikey Rolls special, also known as the head kick, excuse me, the hook kick, just misses. Now, look how comfortable Mikey Rolls looks in there. Another hook kick just misses. Now. One of the things I love about Mikey Rolls, he's had so many wins in amateur and professional fights by hook kick. He'll fake a hook kick just to psych his opponents out. He knows that everyone is afraid of his head kicks. So he'll use that to his advantage. Now look at the way he's standing. His hands are down. I am, I'm anticipating Mikey Rolls to set up another head kick very soon, especially off the counter. Oh, nice one, two. He's throwing combinations. Mikey Rose is teeing off on his opponent. Now, if I'm Justin Baseman right now, I don't want to have my back against. Oh, oh spinning back kick just missed there. That by was a Gonzalez. beautiful spinning back kick. Fun fact about Mikey Rose, he actually taught me the spinning back kick. <laughs> <laughs> that boy can kick, I'll tell you that. Oh, nice Gonzalez one. Gonzalez looking to tee off there. Now, what I love about Mikey Rolls, every time he throws a one-two, he follows up. All the fighters we've seen tonight, they throw a one-two and they stop. Mikey Rolls will throw a one-two and then an uppercut, then an overhand, then a hook. Mikey Rolls, the pressure that he puts on his opponents is incredible. Look at the way he's backing his opponents up like this. Who does that? <laughs> Mikey Rolls does that. Up kick just misses by Baseman. Now, Mikey Rolls is twitching. That means he's going to set something up really quick here. Leg kick didn't hurt him too much. Oh! Gonzalez, what a beautiful combination there. Left head kick. That's a devastating head kick. And there's less than a minute to go here because of these three minute rounds, which you know what? I'm not a big fan of. But 10 seconds left in the second of a possible three rounds. Five seconds left, another hut kick. Just misses. Mikey Rolls looks to be in incredible shape, as does Justin Baseman. 
Yeah, definitely a very good round number two by both fighters. I'm gonna have to score that round in favor of yeah, Mikey Hollis. Gonzalez. Yeah, definitely so landed far, the... I would have to say Mikey Gonzalez has won the first two rounds. Yeah. But Justin Baseman, he's experienced and he's powerful and he has an incredible amount of athleticism. I'm not counting anyone out in this fight. Yeah, so far a very good matchup between both of these welterweight fighters, but uh, I definitely have a Gonzalez ahead in the scorecard, uh, at least 10-9 in uh, both rounds. He was able to land the more significant strikes there. And, uh, but it, definitely a good fight between both of these welterweight, welterweight fighters. But if I was a uh, baseman, I would definitely be looking for the knockout or the submission this round. But it seems like both fighters are content to keep this fight standing here. So we'll see what happens in this third round. Mike Rolls is so confident with his hands down because look at that, the way he switches his stance. His hands are down most of the time he's in the MMA cage. And he, he doesn't care if you try to punch him in the face. If you try to punch Mikey Rolls in the face, your, his foot is gonna be in your face. Mikey Rolls is such a good Taekwondo practitioner. Now his hands are up, that means he's probably gonna go for that one, two. Expect a one-two from Mikey Rolls. Yeah. He doesn't care if you kick him in the leg. See, there's a very good combination by Mikey Rolls. Referee Ed Colantes is keeping a, a close eye on the action here. Yeah, you can definitely see the confidence in uh, Mikey Rolls' uh, stand-up here. Switching back to uh, Sao Paul stands is Gonzalez. Nice leg kick lands to the body. So far, Gonzalez doing the majority of the stalking here in, uh, in this fight. Definitely going to play, play a difference in the, the decision for the judges. Now, Mikey Rose, the only problem I have with these, these, these professional fights tonight, they're three-minute rounds because of the smoke in the air, the North Bay fires, the air quality. I want to see Mikey Rose do what he really is capable of, but he just, due to the three-minute rounds, it looks like he's hesitating just a bit, but that left hand rocked. His opponent a little bit. Less than a minute to go here for Mikey Rolls. But so far, you know what? I'm, I'm very confident that Mikey Rolls is winning this rematch. But will he be able to finish? Oh, beautiful leg kick just landed there. If Justin Baseman can go the distance with Mikey Rolls, that's a hell of an improvement, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Especially absolutely. with the absolute savage known as Mikey Gonzalez. Oh, another spinning back kick. That looked like it hurt Baseman a little bit. I want to see Mikey Rolls do that again. Why not do that five more times? Well, he's definitely improved this game uh, since the last fight when uh, Baseman got locked. Oh! Baseman gets rocked. Less than 30 seconds to go here in the last round of this fight. Mikey Gonzalez, no fear. Justin Baseman. Looking very confident in this rematch. My hat is off to Justin Baseman. Oh, absolutely. For the rematch, Justin Baseman's looking much more impressive than he did in the last fight. Oh, definitely. When he got when he got uh, defeated in the first round via TKO, he, he's definitely, oh, definitely nice looking a lot better. By Baseman. Justin Baseman, you know what? If you're watching this, Justin Baseman, I have nothing but respect in my heart for you. Oh, and definitely. Mikey Rolls, you're the champ. What a great performance by both of these welterweight fighters. Now, this is going to be a good one for the judges to decide, but in my opinion, Mikey Gonzalez definitely won that fight. Uh, definitely had the more significant strikes through all three rounds. So in my opinion, uh, Gonzalez is going to come through with the victory, more than likely via that unanimous decision. But we'll see what the judges have to say about this. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have rendered another unanimous decision. All three judges scored the fight 30 to 27 in favor of the winner in the red corner, Mikey Rolls!
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Mikey Rolls Gonzalez. Now, first of all, I gotta wonder, Mikey, this was a rematch, and you knocked your opponent out the first time you fought him back in July. Let me ask you, why did you agree to this rematch? First of all, you gotta give up to Justin Baseman. If anybody's in the fight game, you know he's been in and he put him in this work for like 10, 15, 20 years. So I got a lot of respect for all the guys that put, put it on the line and don't back out of fights. He's one that just steps up. So, because I respect him, I happen to oblige his rematch. But I want to say one thing. Thank you to all my coaches. Flavio, my dad, my brother, my sister Alicia, all the guys at CTA Com Team, Kyle Terra Academy, and all my training partners at Tactica. But this fight, hold up, hold up. This fight is dedicated to my little brother's best friend who's fighting for his life right now. So, I dedicate this to Tyler Stevens and his family, and I hope he gets better. Mikey, one last question. You've been the clear number one contender for the Dragon House welterweight belt for over a year now. Do you plan on fighting for that belt anytime soon? Like I've said before, I am the 170 pound champ here. And hey, you can hate me all you want, but you motherfucking gotta respect me. Well, once again, congratulations, Mikey Rolls Gonzalez. There you have it, folks. Mikey Gonzalez defeats Justin Baseman once again, this time via unanimous decision here at Dragon House 30.